Hello, bookworms. Welcome back to another episode of Book Central Inside the Pages. This week, we have taken over the show. I'm your host, Joshua, and today, we have a special treat for you. Joining me is the wonderfully witty author Beatrix, who is here to chat about her latest comedy book, No One Believes in Easter or the Easter Bunny. Welcome to the show, Beatrix. Thank you, Joshua. I'm thrilled to be here. Beatrix, No One Believes in Easter or the Easter Bunny is such a clever and intriguing title. Can you share with our listeners what inspired you to write this comedic tale? Absolutely, Joshua. No One Believes in Easter or the Easter Bunny is a humorous exploration of family traditions and the absurdity of belief systems. The idea sprang from my own experiences growing up in a household where skepticism reigned supreme, especially when it came to mythical figures like the Easter Bunny. I wanted to create a story that celebrates the quirks of family dynamics while also poking fun at our cultural traditions. Sounds like a riotous adventure. Now, humor is a tricky genre to master. How do you approach infusing your writing with comedy, and what do you hope readers will take away from your book? Humor, for me, is all about finding the absurdity in everyday situations and presenting it in a way that resonates with readers. In No One Believes in Easter or the Easter Bunny, I aim to entertain readers while also inviting them to reflect on the nature of belief and tradition. Ultimately, I hope readers will enjoy a good laugh while also appreciating the complexities of family relationships and the stories we tell ourselves. Fantastic insight, Beatrix. Now, let's dive into the story itself. Can you give our listeners a sneak peek into the world of No One Believes in Easter or the Easter Bunny? What can they expect from the characters and the plot? Certainly, Joshua. No One Believes in Easter or the Easter Bunny follows the eccentric Smith family as they navigate the chaos of Easter festivities amidst a backdrop of skepticism and disbelief. From Aunt Mildred's conspiracy theories about the Easter Bunny to Uncle Bob's attempts to debunk the existence of the mythical creature, hilarity ensues as the family embarks on a comedic journey filled with unexpected twists and turns. Sounds amazing. Could you read an extract for our listeners? Certainly, Joshua. In the quaint town of Springville, where flowers bloomed and bunnies hopped freely, there lived the Smith family a clan known far and wide for their skepticism, particularly when it came to matters of folklore. Easter, in particular, was an occasion fraught with doubt, and the head of the household, Uncle Bob, was determined to debunk the myths surrounding the holiday. As Easter Sunday approached, the Smith family found themselves embroiled in their annual debate about the existence of the Easter Bunny. Aunt Mildred, a staunch believer in conspiracy theories, was convinced that the bunny was merely a cover-up for a government experiment gone awry. Meanwhile, Uncle Bob, armed with his trusty magnifying glass and a skeptical smirk, set out on a mission to prove once and for all that the Easter Bunny was nothing more than a myth. The scene was set for a comedic showdown of epic proportions. As the family gathered around the dinner table, adorned with chocolate eggs and colorful decorations, the air crackled with anticipation. Aunt Mildred, her eyes wide with excitement, regaled the family with tales of sightings of the elusive Easter Bunny, while Uncle Bob scoffed and rolled his eyes in disbelief. I tell you, Mildred, it's all a load of hogwash, Uncle Bob declared brandishing his magnifying glass like a detective on a mission. There's no such thing as an Easter bunny. It's just a marketing ploy to sell more chocolate eggs. Oh, Bob, you're such a cynic, Aunt Mildred chided, shaking her head in mock disapproval. Just because you've never seen the Easter bunny doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You have to have faith. Faith, my foot. Uncle Bob retorted, his skepticism unwavering. I'll believe in the Easter Bunny when I see it with my own two eyes and not a moment before. And so, the stage was set for a hilarious Easter adventure unlike any other. As the Smith family embarked on a series of misadventures in their quest to uncover the truth about the Easter Bunny, they found themselves drawn into a whirlwind of absurdity, laughter, and unexpected twists. 
from encounters with eccentric neighbors claiming to have spotted the elusive bunny to mishaps involving exploding chocolate eggs, the Smith family's Easter escapade was a roller coaster ride of hilarity and hijinks. And through it all, they learned that sometimes, the true magic of Easter lies not in proving or disproving myths, but in coming together as a family and embracing the joy and laughter that the holiday brings. So, dear reader, if you ever find yourself doubting the existence of the Easter Bunny, just remember the Smith family and their uproarious adventure. After all, in a world as strange and wonderful as ours, anything is possible even bunnies that deliver chocolate eggs on Easter Sunday. Sounds like a rollicking good time. Now, as we wrap up, Beatrix, do you have any final thoughts or messages for our listeners who are intrigued by No One Believes in Easter or the Easter Bunny? Absolutely, Joshua. I'd like to invite all our listeners to join the Smith family on their hilarious Easter escapade. Whether you're in need of a good laugh or simply looking for an entertaining read, No One Believes in Easter or the Easter Bunny promises to deliver humor heart, and a whole lot of. Thank you so much, Beatrix, for sharing your insights and giving us a glimpse into the world of No One Believes in Easter or the Easter Bunny. And to our listeners, be sure to grab your copy of Beatrix's book for a side-splittingly good time. Until next time, happy reading.